Welcome to my 100 second animation series where I'll show you how to create a complex animation on Flutter in just 100 seconds. Let's start it with the seamless sliding animation. Big thanks to Barnas for sharing this awesome animation with us. Before we begin, grab the starting code from GitHub. You can find the link in the description. Once you have the code, open it on your favorite IDE and run it. You'll see the UI has been built, but there is no sliding animation while transitioning to the next page. Allow me to explain what we have in our starting project. On onboarding screen, we initialize the bottom sheet on init state. On onboarding content, inside the page view, define the landing content and sign up from. At the end, a button. I want to increase the size of bottom model sheet while I'm on create new account page. To do that, we need a page controller. Let's define a lead variable called onboard page controller. We'll define it on init state and add a listener to it. Remember to dispose the page controller. Now let's return to the page view and include the controller, then restart the app. We must determine the amount we slide to the next page, which can be achieved using onboard page controller dot page. As shown in the log, this value begins at zero and gradually increases to one as we slide to the right. We can use this value to animate the bottom model sheet. We'll store it in a variable called progress. Now in the size box, We'll increase the height to 140 according the value of progress. Let's observe the outcome. This is exactly what we want. Look, it's so smooth. However, there is an issue. When we restart the app, the screen turns red because we cannot access the page controller before it constructed. To resolve this, we have to verify if it has been constructed or else the progress value will be zero. The problem is now resolved. Now what about the button? We want it to slightly higher on the create account page. We can use the same technique. Increase its bottom position based on the value of progress. Perfect. It doesn't make any sense to have a get started button on the sign up page. Therefore, we need to modify the text. We can do that by adding the create account text within the stack widget. We can hide those texts using opacity wizard. Wrap the get started text with opacity wizard and set its opacity to one minus progress. We'll do the same for create account text, but the opacity will be set to progress value. To fix the issue with the two lines of text, let's set the max lines to one. Additionally, we need to increase the size of our button and we'll use the same technique as before. In the size box, we'll increase the width by 32 based on the value of progress. As you can see, now it looks much better. To make the animation even smoother, let's set the overflow to text overflow.fade and set the soft wrap to false. Now let's observe the outcome. As you can see, it looks perfect. Last but not least, currently when we click on the get started button, nothing happens. To resolve this, first wrap the button container with gesture detector. Then on tab, if the current page is zero, then onboard page controller dot animate to page number one. Let's set the duration to 400 milliseconds and curve to curve dot east. That's it, we have now completed our task. Let's check it out. I hope you found the 100 second challenge helpful. If you would like more challenges like that, please let me know in the comment section.